Hey guys, it's Casey. So today we're talking about fasted focused fitness. Don't say that fast. It's very tongue twisting. But a lot of people ask me, what is fasting focused fitness? Why do you say that's what you promote? So I actually created my own little Venn diagram and I know you guys can't read it, but I'm going to have you, um, if you have a minute, grab a piece of paper or come back to this with a piece of paper and pen because you're gonna want to write down what I'm suggesting because it will really help you in setting your goals in having success in your life. So, the first question you need to write down at the top of your paper is what is your top goal? So, I'm giving you four categories to choose from. So, of the goals, you can choose to lose weight, to build strength, to reverse disease and aging, or to maintain optimal health. So, choose one of those that you think is your top goal. And then from there, we're gonna break them down. First, I'm gonna go over to lose weight. Because I would say most people that initially contact me, that's their biggest reason for even considering fasting is they're like, I gotta lose weight. And I hear this is the best way, tell me more. So. If your goal is to lose weight, this is the protocol that I recommend. Your fasting protocol would be prolonged fast, meaning that every week you're doing a 48 or a 72 hour fast, um, which is going to quickly get you into ketosis, okay? That is where your body transitions from being a carb burner into burning those stored fats you got hanging on your body. Um, your meal protocol would be on the non-fasting days, you get one meal a day, it's called OMAD, okay? One meal a day, it needs to be keto. This is for a short period of time. I don't believe that keto is a lifestyle diet, but low carb is. And when you're really trying to get the pounds off, keto is super good when you pair it with fasting for making that happen. For your exercise protocol, I recommend full body HIIT training. HIIT, H-I-I-T, stands for High Intensity Interval Training. That is a type of workout, so you need to be doing five to six days a week, okay? That's if your goal is to lose weight. Moving to category two. If your goal is to build strength primarily, your fasting protocol is daily intermittent fasting with a food window that ranges from four to eight hours. And I realize that's a very big difference. The reason why I make such a big difference is because of this. Um, men often, can eat, most of the time, can eat more in a setting than a female can. It's just statistics, okay? So usually you're not gonna be able to get as many calories in as a female as a man can in a shorter window. So for men, you're leaning more towards the four hour side. Women, you're probably more to the six to eight to get your calories in. Because if your goal is to build strength, you shouldn't be at a high body fat percentage. If you're at a high body fat percentage, you need to move back to category one and first lose weight, then we work on category two, building strength, okay? So, um, if you're lean and you're, you're just working on, I need to put some mass on, I wanna get stronger, I wanna feel really capable, That's this is the plan for you. So you're doing the daily intermittent fasting. Your meal protocol is low carb, protein focused macros. When you're wanting to build muscle, you have to make sure you're getting enough protein. It's very critical. Now, one thing to note, you can't just say, okay, well, I'm gonna try to shoot for 100 grams of protein today and eat it all at once and have that be ideal. It's better if you can split that up between two meals. If you have to, you could split it between three, okay? Um, and then your exercise protocol for building muscle and strength is a five by five full body lift five days a week with one day focusing hard on core and cardio, okay? Moving on to category three. If your goal is to reverse disease and aging, your fasting protocol would be prolonged water fasts and or dry fasts. These are anywhere ranging from 24 hours as a dry fast up to 72 and beyond with a water fast. So if you have a known disease or you have all these aches and pains and arthritis and things from aging that you wanna reverse, you wanna do a prolonged fast every week and then for your meal plan, depending upon what disease and issue you're dealing with, there's two different protocols, either a keto um, food plan 
to um, help you or a vegan keto. And the reason why I know a lot of people are like vegan keto, that's scary and low protein, but for certain diseases, that's actually really good because you want high, high antioxidants. So tons of plant foods, like 80% plant foods, and then just a little fat and a little protein. So um, depending upon your disease, that's how you go. And then your exercise protocol, if you're in this category, is body weight foundational strength training and low key daily stress relieving. So you can do things like, when I say body weight, that means anything from a squat to a push up to a lunge, anything that you can do moving your own body weight. You wanna do those all the time, but you wanna do things to relieve your stress because when we have disease and aging, we have stress present. So you wanna do things like a nice gentle stroll. You could go to yoga. You could just sit and have nice calm music and do some breathing practice. All those things will really help with your stress. And then lastly, if you are in the, I just want to maintain optimal health category because you've already reached that goal weight, you're doing well, but you want to know like, how do I keep this going? How do I look and feel and be the healthiest version of me? What I recommend for your fasting protocol is daily intermittent fasting and a quarterly prolonged fast. This is a category that I've been in, and this is why with my Fasting with Friends group, I promote us doing every three months, we do a prolonged fast, because that gives you an immune system reset, and it's great to get you armored for the next season coming. So that's your fasting protocol. Your meal protocol is what I call a flexible low-carb diet. So most of the time, you're eating totally low-carb, really good complex carbs when you do consume carbs, but allowing for things like sweet potatoes and carrots and parsnips and different starchier vegetables that are still vegetables, but they have higher starch and they're not considered keto, okay? So, because they're too carb laden, but those are okay for you if you're in that maintain healthy, because those have a lot of great nutrients and we don't want to just cut food out for the rest of our life. It's really good to eat a variety of stuff, especially plant foods, because you're gonna get all kinds of nutrients from those different sources, and you're always gonna get more absorption from those nutrients than you will from any supplement you could ever buy. And then lastly, your exercise protocol on that plan is two days a week trying to do body weight plyometrics, so you're working on moving your body weight in every plane and getting your heart rate up two days a week. Two days a week of heavy lifting to re recruit that muscle and keep you strong, and then one to two days a week of core cardio meaning you're really targeting your core. So that's everything from your midsection down to your waist and all the way around, along with keeping that heart rate up as you're going. So you can throw in intervals like treadmill and then jump down and do some ab stuff. So, and low back moves and whatnot. So anyhow, that is my Venn diagram for a fasting focused fitness life. And I hope it was helpful to you guys. If you have questions, Put them in the comments below. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do and give this a thumbs up and I'll keep making you guys more videos. Have an excellent day.